Hey guys, so in this video we're going to go through a running assessment and we're going to do a series of videos which talks about different aspects of a running assessment using a treadmill. Um, so first of all, Glenn, if we were looking at someone with their running or with, with pathology, what would we be looking for from an assessment point of view before we maybe even got them onto the treadmill to start with? So yeah, I mean obviously it's essential if you're treating a runner that you want to actually watch them run. Yeah, and um, you do have to bear in mind that if they never run on treadmills, then perhaps the treadmill is not the most appropriate way to assess their running gait. But it is a really good starting point. And as you'll see through the next few videos, when you use uh, Ubersense and software like that, it's mm. a really useful way to, to look at how they do run. Uh, but before you go on there, I mean, on the courses that uh, myself and Ben Matthews run, we look at uh, what we call a runner's readiness scale. Yeah, so we'll look at several functional movement assessments, mm -hmm. uh, overhead squat, single leg squat, and triple hop test. And that can give you loads of information before you even get them running. Mm -hmm. uh, you'd also want to look at some kind of uh, muscle length assessment or functional uh, hip mobility assessment as well, which is, comes up a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, muscle strength testing, uh, depending on what you see really. It's all very, yeah. uh, our assessments are guided very much by what we see from each test, so it's very individual. Mm -hmm. yeah, but there are a few um, standard benchmarks that you check, like uh, ankle dorsiflexion, hip extension, mm -hmm. uh, great toe extension that kind of thing yeah. yeah and in terms of mechanics of the joints when you're you know the kind of what are the average ranges of motion that you would be looking for with a runner that that you'd want to find before going onto the treadmill or that you just generally want to find with that sort of thing yeah it's a good question i think um obviously running requires more range of motion than walking yeah so you want to know what the standard requirements are at each joint uh, of a heel strike runner mm -hmm. uh, before you get them to run and make sure they've got that in place so uh, if we start uh, with focus on the lower limb, yeah, mm -hmm. without going into the, the thoracic spine and lumbar spine too much at this stage. Uh, at the hip, you want to make sure that they've got at least 10 degrees of hip extension mm -hmm. without too much compensation higher up. Yeah. Uh, that you want to make sure that they've got uh, between uh, 10 to 20 degrees of knee flexion minimum when they're heel striking, up to around 130 degrees when they come through into um, mid stance. You want to make sure that their ankles have got. 15 to 20 degrees dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, mm -hmm. and um, pronation, supination. The literature will say six to eight degrees, but I'm not uh, as advanced at the moment that I can assess that with my eye. <laughs> yeah, I don't think many will ask. No, but... no, and we, we'll talk about pronation a little bit more, I think, yeah. when we come on to uh, what pathologies would be linked with certain running styles because pronation gets a lot of um, uh, yeah. cover, doesn't it, in the Absolutely. running world? Yeah, and I think we, we were discussing earlier that actually often, and we'll talk about this with the other videos in the series, that you're looking more at how quickly someone pronates. Mm. Um, there should be pronation in, in, in the foot in, if it's a good, uh, if you have good mechanics of the foot, um, but actually it's more about whether it does it too quickly and also whether it stays in pronation that you're potentially looking for. Um, but again, the series, this series of videos is more more really about looking at the actual running assessment. Um, those me those mm. uh, assessments you talked about before in terms of the, the functional movement screens and things, there are in other videos we've got on the website, so that's something that we will link in. But this little series is more about how you would actually assess someone when they're actually running. Um, and that's what we're going to go on to in the next videos.